Hi, second grade families. This is Miss Angel, and I want to create, make a quick video about how to use this new website called iXL. Some of you may have used it previously, because I know at Spiro we normally, a lot of teachers do use this school, do use this website, but if you are new to Spiro, you may not have used this, or honestly, you may have just forgotten. So I wanted to create a quick video to help you navigate this website. As you can see, there's lots of information, so feel free to take a look. IXL is used from pre-K all the way to 12th grade, and it's even used for different um, subjects. So as you go through this website, you can check out the different resources and read more about it. Um, up here is where you can do your type in your username, password, and then sign in to your student's account. So I am going to do that but I need to use one of the student's information, so I am going to move this up to protect that student's personal information. So bear with me as I log in quickly. Okay, so above my arrow, you once you log in under your student's information, it says welcome and then your student's name. You can click on your student's name and then a drop-down box will appear and that's where you'll see profile and settings and then also a button to sign out. So when your student is done working, you can click on their name and then just sign out of the website just to ensure that uh, all the information is correct and nothing gets a little wonky. All right, so from there, this is what you're going to do right now because I just want to assess where your student is at. So once you log in, this is what you'll see something like this. But right away, I just want you to click on diagnostic. And as you can see, this student hasn't started the diagnostic so there are no skills and no levels here so I, I don't know the areas that your student needs to work on or um, the areas that they excel in so again you'll see language arts but we are only doing math so you'll click on diagnostic and then step into the arena Once you are here, it seems like you need to start the assessment, but you actually need to click on this arrow and see the drop, doc, the drop down box. We are in the math and language arts diagnostic test. You need to click on math, okay? So one, again, once you log in, you'll come to the recommendations page the first thing you need to do is click on Diagnostic, step into the arena, and click on this drop-down box to make sure that we are in the math the diagnostic test. From here, you can just look at the questions. Honestly, the questions might be different per student. I've clicked in this a few times and I've gotten these same questions. We're not necessarily working on subtraction in this class, so if you do get this question, I would say click here because we are working on, some students may be working on addition for numbers zero to 10. So we are not doing subtraction for numbers greater than 10. So I would just go ahead and start here, and then this is where the questions start. So what's pretty cool about IXL is that if you're, if you need the student to hear the question and you're unable to be right there with them and need to step away, the student can get in the habit of pressing this button so the question can be read to them. Complete the addition sentence for this model. Perfect. And so then the student can know what to do. It is okay if you tell your student, okay, so what's three plus six? And they start at three and you can tell them to count up to six. So and then they type in the number nine. Or even if they get the answer wrong, because again, this is a diagnostic assessment, I really want to see where, what skill levels they're at. It is, a, I want you to allow your student to put the wrong answer. 
So let's say they put the wrong answer and they submit it. So it, you'll get this, not quite, and then the assessment will adjust for their level. So I got that one wrong. We've gone back to a skill level that may be more appropriate for your student. And then your student can, again, listen to the directions. Copy the pattern. Move. So sometimes some questions may ask your student to type in an answer. Sometimes it may ask them to move um, objects to complete the question. So complete the pattern. And again, submit. Because that's right, looks like you've got that down. And then because I got that right, the diagnostic test might bump my skills up. It, if I get it wrong, it might bring it down to a more appropriate level. So just work your way through this. Um, again, it is OK if your student gets it wrong. I really want to see where their level is at. If they're getting a lot of help and if they're getting a lot of answers um, correct, it's going to bring their level up. And I'm going to base lessons off of that. So it is super important that you allow your student to put the answer that they come up with just so they can get math lessons appropriate for their skills. So um, continue doing this. And when you're done, like I said, above the arrow is your student's name. Whenever you guys are done doing this, you can sign out and it will bring you back to this page. All right, well, if you have any questions, let me know.